Hey, Unicorn here, and today we are having a look at the gold potential of the Scarlet Monastery. This instance is located in the Tirasar Glades, and the easiest way to get there as an Alliance player is to use the portal to the Blessed Lands, fly to Chrome Gol, and take the first class seats on top of the Zeppelin to Undercity. Inside the monastery, it's the left instance portal. You can mount up inside the instance, but the first few mob groups are fighting against zombies. To get them, we need to pull one of each group individually. Running through them with the mount won't work. I round them up in the crypt entrance behind the boss and kill them, which opens up the door to the next part. There will still be zombies following you because we haven't killed the corpse piles, but they give up after a bit in the monastery part. We pull both sides down here and then both sides on the upper level. I use this corner to line of sight the casters and kill them easily. After this, the next door opens. Here we pull the groups in front and then to the right, kill the boss on the way across and hide in this room. The second boss will spawn and we try to kill her with the trash. She will put us to sleep and resurrect the first boss. After waking up again, we loot the trash, kill the two bosses, head out, mount up and run out of the instance. A run like this takes about 6 minutes. Here's what I got from 10 runs. 60 gold directly from drops, vendoring and dungeon rewards, 80 gold from disenchanting greens, nearly a thousand gold from cloth, mostly silk, 18 gold for a few gems and 300 gold for two recipes, giving us a total of 1400 gold. The 8 transmog pieces I got increased the result by 3300 gold, bringing us to a total of nearly 4800 gold per hour. Thank you for watching this video, you can find the exact items I got along with the price on my blog if you want. Next week we are going to have a look at Razorfan Crowl. Bye.